Hey, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I wanted to take a quick walk around on a 7x16 H&H &H TRSA tandem axle rail side aluminum trailer. Again, it says 7 foot width, 16 foot length, 7,000 pound GVW. Everything you see here is stock equipment on the trailer, no additional options added. Up front we've got a 2 and 5 16 ball. It's got your required safety chains and breakaway. It's got a setback jack, so instead of an A-frame jack up front like you would traditionally see, jack setback makes it a little uh, stronger tying together that triple tube tongue. And then also the most important thing, the triple tube tongue and setback jack would be uh, you can't ding your tailgate on your, your truck with a uh, setback like that. Also, you'll notice the gusset going between the tongue and the frame. This unit's got a 2x2 two two tube top rail. Oftentimes you'll see angle iron or a 1x2 tube, it's a little bit heavier. And then uh, the tongue on this, new for, uh, I believe it was late 19 models. This is a two by five box tube. A lot of times in the industry, you'll see a four inch uh, channel, maybe five inch uh, angle or channel, but not generally tube. Tube being four sided resists the, uh, the torsional flex and whatnot that you would get. Also notice the uprights on these are tube as well, not angle iron. And then you've got a full wrap tongue. So basically tongue, Comes back, wraps back to the spring hanger. It's also got fender gussets on the fender, protecting it from impact. Uh, stake pockets for some tie downs. It's got a pressure treated floor. Brakes on both axles. This one's got the uh, aluminum wheels, standard equipment. Also got a teardrop fender. So instead of a straight fender, this teardrop gives some additional strength. Going back to the back, H&H uh, does a little bit nicer gate. This is a uh, bifold gate, but also importantly, this is a, a little bit longer than a standard gate. Most are four foot. This one here is 54 inch. Again, it is bifold. Uh, you'll notice this outer piece of custom extrusion, and then it's got extruded uh, plank on the gate itself. Uh, if you're not familiar with the bifold gate, very simple. You would pull the pin on either side, See if I can do this with one hand. Simply lift the candy canes up. And uh, we'll deploy this with one hand. Obviously not designed for that, but you can do it. Not a real heavy gate uh, by weight, being aluminum, but uh, certainly heavy duty enough uh, for the objects that would generally go in this trailer. Uh, you can do a side-by-side -side UTV. Certainly a lot of guys will put two ATVs on here, and garden tractors and whatnot. This trailer is gonna weigh in about 1,300 pounds empty. It's gonna give a net legal payload of about 5,700. Uh, if you haven't ever had a utility trailer before, while the payload may be 5,700, the bottleneck on the utility is gonna be the gate. Uh, generally, you're not gonna find a gate in the industry that you're gonna put 5,700 pounds up. So again, uh, 5,700 pound roughly is going to be your legal payload, but only if it's uh, hand items, a few uh, spread out, uh, you know, 50 pound bags of whatever mulch or grass seed or whatever you do. Uh, but up the gate, most manufacturers on aluminum are going to put about a give or take 2,000 pound weight limit. Now, granted, depending on what you're hauling, you may have a two axle piece of equipment, so you wouldn't have. 2,000 pound on either axle. So this does come in other sizes shown here. The 7x16 is the most common size. It is only available on a 7,000 pound and a tandem axle. I also stock it in a single axle, 2,990 pound rated trailer. Uh, common size on that be a 6x10, 6x12. Also available in other sizes and lengths. We do have other aluminum trailers in stock in other configurations, high sides, uh, deluxe models, etc., extruded floor models. If you have any questions on this or any of those other models, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.